Hello there and welcome to another Commodore 64 game playthrough and today we're going to play through the official, yes the official version of Tetris. Now if I need to tell you what Tetris is I think you're probably on the wrong channel. You know it's one of the most popular computer games ever released. Um, it's originated in Russia in the 80s and I remember watching an absolutely fascinating documentary about Tetris. Um, because uh, of the sort of um, nuances of how Russia worked. Um, there was all sorts of issues with getting this game out and getting it published and, and everything. So Tetris itself, the game, became famous because it was uh, released with the, um, the sort of retail version of the Nintendo Game Boy in the sort of late 80s, early 90s. And it, I think it was free with every game. Well, it certainly was in the UK anyway. So it became very popular and it became, you know, it was a cultural thing. The the theme tune from it, which is nothing like this, by the way. This is some sort of, I don't know, Sid tune. Um, was, uh, it was released as a pop song and all sorts of other sort of weird um, kooky ideas to do with uh, do with this so it was uh, it became a cultural phenomenon but um, Tetris itself has had many lives it's been released for just about every single computer platform you can imagine also mobile phones I remember having it on an early mobile phone when actually having a game on a mobile phone was a was a big whoopie do also got these little handhelds that you could buy and they were um, they would say things like you know, you get 9,000 games with them, and it was all basically Tetris, but it was just different variations on it, <laughs> which is quite funny, really. And there's been there's been other versions of this, so um, so yeah, so this is this is uh, say this is the official Commodore version. Um, I think Mirasoft released this, and the idea basically is you're chucking these different shaped bricks down the bottom of the uh, gameplay area, and if you can complete a row which I must be honest, I'm not doing brilliantly at. Then the road disappears, and that's how you progress through the game. You get points for it, and also the... Um, I'm going to see if I can shove that in the corner, actually. That would help me. It's something rotten, wouldn't it? Oh, let me go in the corner. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, see if I can do the same again. And the it, the game gets faster and harder, and as you, as you uh, progress... If you end up in a situation whereby the bricks are at the top of the screen and there's nothing you can do, you uh, that's when you lose the game. So I can't believe I've just explained Tetris, but there you are. <laughs> there'll be there'll be somebody out there who's never heard of Tetris, won't there? You know, we're not all we're not all from the 80s and 90s and grew up with with things like this. You know, there'll be somebody out there who's never heard of Tetris. Maybe maybe. You know, somebody who's four years old or something has never heard of Tetris, but um, everybody else has. So it was um, it was a really interesting story, actually, the, the whole birth of Tetris, because in communist Russia at the time, everything you did was the ownership of, uh, belonged to the state, belonged to Russia. So it didn't matter what you did, if you wrote a piece of music or you created a play or uh, whatever, you didn't actually own it, you had no ownership rights, it was owned by the, the Russian state. But because we're talking about computer games, and obviously um, Russia at the time was, was not very sort of, certainly the, the, the public anyway, weren't very sort of technically literate. There wasn't really a sort of way of distributing these games. Um, so although the Soviet state owned it in inverted commas, they couldn't really distribute it, take advantage of, of marketing it and getting it out there. So I think what happened is the, the developers sort of covertly visited Europe. I think they ended up in London at one point to strike deals with software companies to actually release the game. And there was obviously loads of problems with that because once the Soviet government caught wind that this game had first of all been released, but second of all, it was actually a very successful game. They wanted their um, pound of flesh. And so it was the typical sort of Soviet stories of... Um, people being sort of uh, arrested and subversion, and people um, uh, basically getting diplomatic immunity and running away from the country and all sorts of things. So, yeah, so it's a really interesting story, but the, the game itself was very, um, uh, extremely popular. This game doesn't get many high ratings, but I don't understand why, because Tetris is Tetris, you know, there's nothing else you can really do. Yes, it's not. You know the, the the background's quite nice and the, the the tune's really really good, 
but the, the pieces, okay, maybe they could have put some effects on them or something, but Tetris is what Tetris is, I mean, that's the whole point, it's these bricks and you shove them down and, you know, if all of a sudden the aliens appeared and you could you could shoot them and stuff, it, it wouldn't really be the point of um, Tetris, so... Uh, I can remember getting this on a compilation with Elite, amongst other things, and I bought it for Elite because I'd never played Elite before, but this was on it, and um, this caught my attention just as much because it was um, quite a playable little game, really. You know, it, it, it's, it, it is what it is, and, and again, you know, if you don't have a Game Boy, I mean, I remember I didn't have a Game Boy, my, uh, my brother had a Game Boy, so obviously knew what Tetris was all about. But if this was the only version you owned, why not? You know, everybody's got to um, got to enjoy a little bit of Tetris, and of course, it's the official version. So yes, so that's the history lesson over and done with. <laughs> Go on the wiki page for Tetris, and it'll probably not only tell you the real story, but actually correct loads of factual errors that I've just added in there. But uh, yeah, it's an absolutely fascinating story. So yes, so this is Tetris. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you've got any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe.